Welcome to Aspect Art Journal. This is a somewhat weekly feature of our art program. This week I'm going to try something, again, slightly unusual. I'm going to review a video that I recently saw of a film by that master storyteller Robert Altman, perhaps one of the greatest directors now working in America. It's called Cookie's Fortune, and it takes place in America in the south of America. It deals with relationships, black and white, old and young, family dynamics. It starts out with an older woman lamenting her departed husband. She has a very deep relationship with a black man who's lived near the house and kind of been a manservant to she and her husband during their lifetime. Very close. There are two kind of scheming nieces in it who are very busy with themselves and busy with producing a local play. And there's the young generation, the daughter of one of the scheming nieces who actually loves the older woman very much, and the older woman reciprocates. The older woman is found one day dead, shot. Jack Palmer, sir, attorney at law, to represent Mr. Richland. Mm-hmm. Um, Emma Duval, to sell me. Mm-hmm. I'm, uh, Willis Richland. Uh, I guess I'm your suspect, sir. Mm-hmm. Nice hat you got there. Mm-hmm. Mixture of forever. Mm-hmm. Now, this is the plot that weaves itself into the story. A very unexpected changing plot that is both humorous and pathetic at the same time. It's a tribute to Robert Altman's storytelling abilities that this film all comes together in the end and has that kind of warm feeling that uh, sometimes when you see a film you really enjoy, it gives you. This is one of those, so I would highly recommend going to the video store and checking it out. And now for the exhibitions. Now, around Amsterdam, the exhibitions are opening like spring flowers. At the Rijksmuseum, of course, the blockbuster golden age of Holland in the 17th century has opened. Down at the State Lake is the Kurt Sweaters, the collage German artist. Nearer to home, and closer to the centrum here, is a very small but beautiful exhibition in the Rembrandt House of Goya, Picasso, and Rembrandt. This exhibition shows the influence of Rembrandt on the other two masters. Over at the Theater Museum is a erotic and very interesting exhibition called Strippin' Girls with Marlena Dumas and Anton Corbein. Outside of town in Laren at the Singer is a wonderful exhibition of 19th and 20th century furniture and arts and crafts from that period. This is all taken from a single collection, the Mentevik collection, which is a husband and wife who have been collecting for the last 40 or 50 years. This exhibition is grouped in rooms as you might find them or see them in a house. It's wonderful for all of these kinds of things and well worth the drive to Laudern, which is a wonderful place to spend a day. From Aspect Art now, I'd like to thank all those sponsors that we had last week for Art Week, which was a great success. 
thanks to you, our sponsors. So until next week, please get out there and see some art. It's worthwhile.